Hey guys, welcome back to the Mortal Realms uh, unboxing and sessions. I am Adventures of Well on Me, oh, Joel, whatever you like to notice me by. I've uh, been creating a podcast. Don't know if it's actually out at the moment, which is 8 bit and pieces. I uh, complete complete. I have that podcast that I work through with uh, my sister-in-law, Claire, who has her own channel, which is Close Play. Um, so check her out. I'll leave some links in there uh, at some point throughout my videos anyway, as we sort of collab and um, get things going. But I've been doing a lot of podcasting. haven't been doing a lot of video creating just because I haven't had as much access. Sort of talked about that in previous videos. Um, Looking forward to actually playing some more video games and recording that way. Um, been making some progress on my computer, the one that I'm building for recording and playing a game. But today we're going to be looking at issue 23 of the Mortal Realms. So let's crack into it. Unfortunately, in previous sort of unboxings and work throughs the past couple of weeks, because I've had them on the floor, some of the pieces end up broken if they're very fine or they are at least slightly cracked off of the sprue or rake. So I've got to be really careful with some of these. And they're starting to send more delicate models out as we go through, or miniatures as we go through. So we've got five bases that I've just picked up here. And then we've got our sprue here. And you can see what I mean by got to be more careful because we've got these wings for one of these really awesome guys here. Um, and we don't want that sort of breaking. Um, so this is five characters. That's pretty cool. Five little figures. Five little figures. Um, so I'm going to keep those off the side there for as I work through it because um, as I've sort of explained in previous uh videos uh i'm kind of unboxing a couple at a time working through them and getting through the next lot because i have up to issue 55 sitting on my floor while i'm packing and moving and i don't want them to get too damaged while we sit around and wait for my house to be finished getting built. so let's take a look whoa that was a really crazy camera shit i hope i didn't make anyone sick if i keep that in um but we have issue 23 of the Mortal Realms and Battle Games in the Age of Sigma with Liberators and Prosecutors. So, building models today. This is what I'm talking about. This guy here. Those wings. Looks cool. I'm assuming they're wings and not like a jetpack. So, it just doesn't seem to fit the situation. But I suppose it could be some sort of like propelling thing. Uh, but we have the Stormcast Eternals Liberators page here to describe. Uh, liberators, which are the brave and stoic warriors. Here we go. We've got some of the different paint uh, mock-ups here of some of the different uh, groups. I can't remember what I called them in the previous videos. There's different groups there. Cells, I guess you could call them. And then we've got Stormcast Eternals. That is a brilliant looking picture. I love it. So that's what I say. Like, you look at those wings. It could be some sort of like energy bursting out of there. And not actually like feathery bits. So it's got like the Thor-esque thunder, lightning vibes there. I don't know. I don't know. Does it say anything here? Wings of divine light. I don't know. I guess it could just be light. <laughs> uh, forged in Azir. So this is what we're going to be painting up. That's going to look pretty cool. Good luck to me again. But I love this because it sort of goes through the different parts. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And what his uh, armor and weaponry actually is, which I think is pretty cool. And then the newly dead death. This is cool. Like a little picture there. I like these pages that look like they're sort of written by someone possibly in the world like these parts of the pages like they're written on some parchment that's cool um we've got a how to build the liberators and prosecute over here da, 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 da. probably gonna need to get some more glue soon <laughs> random thought there and you can now see 
here are the paints that you need for this part, which is everything that we've got so far. So, Retributor Armor, Reichland Flesh Shade, Stormhost Silver, dry brush that on, white, blue, black, lead belcher, red, then we've got flesh tones, you can see, oh, we've also got other red, all of that to do this. So you can see it's starting to pick up a lot more in terms of how much we have to paint each time. So in theory that should all be like the one red for all the handles and then that uh, crest up the top is a different red. And we've got the Liberators, Stormcast there, War Scrolls, and the Prosecutors, the War Scrolls, and we've got Glaive Wraith Stalkers, beware, the Glaive Wraith Stalker, for once the Glaive has been leveled, there is no escape, and Bruce Gondahol, High Scholar of Hollow Heart. That's actually a really cool quote. Uh, Glaive Wraith's abilities, and then the Warrior Chamber, descends chambers, that's what they were called. <laughs> I literally read that in the last part. That's cool. And then you've got your battle, battle plan for the Arcane Ruin. So same sort of map. Um, and again, we've sort of hit that point where it um, it essentially goes, you know what? You've learned how to play. So just go play. Here's your setup. Get going. So I was saying I like that because it's taking the training wheels off and giving you free reign of the play, 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 playing. I'm, I am overtired. I'm overtired. It's the first weekend of the school holidays and uh, late nights. I got my vaccine on the last day of term and yeah, sore arms, restless nights, back into it. But <laughs> um, yeah, so that's issue 23 there. We're going to get some building and lots of painting and catching up to do. Hopefully, I'm trying to think, like I said, out of order filming. Um, there's a massive lot of guys from my army. I'm pretty sure there's nothing I have to add on to them, except for, no, the flesh shade would have already been added on to them. <gasps> so at the point where I'm actually painting these guys ready to go, all the old models that we've already painted have already been caught up to date. It's just these new ones we have to paint, so not too bad. Uh, looking forward to getting into that, and yeah. Check back in a minute.
Okay, so I have just finished assembling the models for issue, what are we, 23. Uh, this was an interesting experience. Let me grab this camera as well so I can give you a close up. Because a lot of these models were very finicky to get certain parts in place. So connecting the arm, for example, um, I found that a little bit um, finicky because it was a flat surface against a flat surface and I couldn't work out exactly what angle it needed to be. Like the shields in particular, that's what I found difficult. Um, the bigger model, uh, the prosecutor, the one thing that I found really difficult with that was actually just the perspective of the um, the instructions to be able to like, work out in my head what I'm seeing and the way that it actually goes together. Because I thought that the wings were the other way compared to the picture. And when I finally worked it out, it was kind of obvious how it went together. I just couldn't see that when I was starting. So that was a little bit frustrating um, trying to sort of manage that um, while, you know, recording, not wanting to waste all of the, the time on the, the footage because I was just sitting there doing the same thing and I was just going to be cutting a lot of that or speeding it up anyway. It was like, what was I doing to, to get that to go together? Um, but once I worked it out, it wasn't too bad. So let's um, have a quick look here. I'm going to show you. Ooh, it doesn't want to focus on the right thing. It's trying to focus on the background. Come on. There. Ooh, come on. It doesn't like it. Oh, I was really struggling to focus on the background and the foreground here. Come on. That's oh, close enough there. It's a little bit blurry still. You can tell how much I love cameras. Let's do it this way. There we go. So this, <laughs> this as ridiculous. This is the prosecutor here. Um, let's see, got the rock that then goes up the um, the ribbon part. I don't even know what to call it. The scroll part to the flying figure here. Absolutely gorgeous figure, I might add. Like this miniature, this little model is insane with the amount of detail on it, and. It's going to be nice because it's going to come up, sit nice and high above a lot of the others and it's not like a giant figure. It's more so that it's a um, standard size unit but bigger body compared to say like this, like next to each other. You can see which one's a bigger unit and which one's actually, you know, taking up a lot more space but there's just something about like this dude himself, like being the way it is. Um, and then we've got... Our guys off the side here, the four of them, which aren't too bad as well. Um, yeah, no, I'm really happy with sort of how that came together. Um, it's looking all right. I think the painting is going to be the hard part here. There's going to be a lot of detail, and I don't know if I'm ready to put a lot of that detail onto this figure. Um, because starting to put detail on these other ones, I'm actually finding it can be a little bit challenging um, as we get more and more detailed. And I don't know, a lot of it comes down to sort of being patient more than anything else. But it's starting to get, you know, that little bit difficult going through and actually getting, getting bits and pieces painted on here without it being, um, you know, easy to do. So... That's that part. Next time you'll see me, you'll see me painting, and then we'll take a close-up at the end after I've finished these five figures. So we'll see how that goes. Probably going to take me a couple of days just to get this one done. Thank you.
so I just finished painting uh, the what are we issue 23 uh, miniatures uh, actually really happy with them like it, it, it's some of it was difficult I needed to just touch up a little bit on them particularly like this one here where I've got some of the uh, white where it should be the um, the what is it retributor armor um, like around the wings up the top here but you know for the most part it's come out looking pretty nice you just saw me painting the last part here all the ribbons I can't remember what they're called I think they're seals um, it says it in there um, but yeah painting all those with the um, the flesh color whatever it is flesh hide the rack rack flesh um, yeah, and you know, it, that wasn't too bad. I actually painted all of them except for this dude. I've got to check where they are in here. I think he's got some. He might not actually have anything. Oh, he's got just around the um, the weapon there. I've got to do that. Um, but, you know, I'll come back to that in just a moment. Um, just because the rest were just straight on it and I could see them easily. I'm going to come back and do that in more detail. But I'll give you a quick, nice close-up here. I somehow hit record then. I don't know how. But <laughs> here we go. Um, you can see them here. They're looking pretty good, I must say. Slowly getting more and more detail uh, on these miniatures as we go. Um, so you can see I've... Now that we know how to focus. I've got all these guys and I've painted the ribbons on all of them. The seals, whatever they're called. Um, so yeah, actually really happy with how that sort of came out. And I um, am looking forward to sort of continuing this process and uh, you would have seen in a previous video that I had already started working on these all the way through pretty much finished and then I recorded my intro to a previous video because I lost footage so before I go ahead and make a fool of myself and lose footage I'm gonna copy all this across gonna finish editing that video before I even attempt to open any of the other um, magazines sitting next to me I will continue to do um, like three unboxings at a time and then do the painting just so sort of clear them off the floor That's really really what my issue is at the moment in terms of making sure I don't have anything damaged It's they're on the floor, and I don't want them um, Getting damaged while they're on there so I'll uh, Get to that. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm actually really happy with how this is coming across. This is um, 23 uh, separate painting sessions or building sessions um, that we've been working through and you know so that's past the quarter of the subscription now um yeah i i'm surprised with some of the work that i'm getting out of here like some of them are starting to look really good i'm actually really happy with them um and i can't wait to sort of uh continue doing this um, and getting some really good looking miniatures on the table. Um, but yeah, some of them, you know, are probably not too happy with all of the bits and pieces here and there and need to go and touch it up. I've just realized some of the things I'm not happy with how they're looking on the figures themselves, just like around the, their hands and that. I've painted some with black, like greaves, and I don't like it. I think I'm going to go back and paint them with the Retributor armor again, just to sort of touch it up. Um, I'm not sure why I did. I think some of them had black armbands because they're not like metallic greaves and it's like the the uh, fabric underneath and others. Yeah, I, d I don't know what I've done, but I'll fix that up in my own time. Um, yeah, please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, look out for more videos. Like I said, hopefully coming up soon with uh, more content on the channel once I move and don't have a whole lot of boxes sort of behind me over there and can sort of get things done. So look forward to uh, seeing how this goes. I look forward to being a paint in my new house once that's ready to go and setting up a little bit better with lighting and all that and having it, um, yeah, more enjoyable space to work in that's not crowded. So, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Uh, in the next one, we're going to be looking at some more Night Haunt, I believe. And we'll go from there. Catch you later.